Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. The 3D printing revolution is officially upon us, with MakerBots and replicators now a fully-fledged but very expensive global phenomenon. But one local man might just change that. Quinton Harley and his rep rap Morgan. If I were Aki Anastasia, I'd be very excited about these uh, two new bar female figures, which are printed using these incredible printers. But what I'm really excited about is how amazing the 3D printer revolution is. And we see a lot of international stories and good luck stories, but, but uh, Quinton's story is just really fantastic. A man with a passion and a vision for what he wanted to do. And it's both a good story for South Africa and just a reminder of what the power of open source technology can do for the world. I started designing my own printer two years ago because there were no printers available in South Africa at the time, or none that I could afford anyway. So I started designing my own printer, but I didn't have a way to, to make it. Uh, then in um, October 2012, I, I, I discovered Housefack. And they were busy with a printer course. They were building little printer bots. With the printer bots, they made these Xbox printers. And uh, the guy that owns the Xbox gave it to me to help him print. And then, of course, I, I got a, a 3D printer to, to print the first Morgan. You've chosen a very particular design, a, a RepRap Morgan. Tell us a little bit about that and, and where RepRap comes from. A RepRap stands for a Replicating Rapid Prototyper. And basically what they did is made a printer that could make more printers for more people. So when I designed my machine, I decided to make a RepRap machine because I had such a hard time to get one. Why wouldn't I share my, my idea, my plan? So I blocked from the start, all the plans are online. And uh, if you go to my, uh, go to my blog, uh, reprapmorgan.com, you will get all the plans for this uh, for this printer the nice thing about it is if i want to build a printer i follow my own blog um, exactly. that's basically where it started and then then of course uh, someone picked up on it and it was featured on hacker day and then it blew up in my face all rep rap devices are codenamed after famous scientists with morgan taking its name from thomas hunt morgan a geneticist known for his extensive research on the common fruit fly he found that two very average looking flies could spawn many unusual looking offspring and that's exactly what morgan aspires to be the unusual looking offspring of the machines that came before it using that i printed the parts of this machine here this was the first morgan um, of course, there were lots of things that I wanted to change, and uh, in order to prove that it is a riprap, I had to make another one. So this machine here was printed exclusively using that machine there. So that's the essential idea, isn't it? I mean, a lot of these are commercially available, and essentially the printer can print itself. Yes. That's the idea, right? Yes, and, and uh, the rest of the parts you can, you can basically get at your local hardware store or source it out of your garage. If you look at this one, it's really a piece of... Um, plywood yeah and right now it's actually printing uh, the leg parts these parts for another Morgan right that's correct at the time when I started designing it I couldn't get linear rods or linear elements it, they were very very expensive and I tried to get away from that by using a kind of a double arm scara mechanism and in the end I can use relatively inexpensive bearings and your resolution is mainly only dependent on the ratio of the motor and the bigger the wheel at the bottom, the higher uh, your resolution can go. And as you were saying, uh, before we arrived, actually one of the parts on the printer broke. Uh, I think that's as it. Yeah, that's it. it. And, uh, and you just quickly printed another one. Exactly. This, uh, this wheel here and the tiny wheel inside, um, I basically replaced it. Going forward, what are your plans to do with this uh, array of brilliant printers? We are trying to start a kind of a Morgan grid where people that have printers can make printers for other people and then we can, we can get people that need these printers, schools, universities, students. When we look at a 3D printer, we say, oh wow, a 3D printer. But when kids see a 3D printer, they immediately think, what can I do with this thing? And that makes me really, really excited. Um, so the focus would be to make these machines available at a reasonable price um, to uh, 
whomever needs it.